Can you each briefly describe your characters for me? I play, I'm Natalie Martinez and I play Allison. I am Boyd Holbrook's wife in The Fugitive. And my character really brings that family element uh, to the storyline, uh, gives uh, our main lead, you know, something kind of to fight for, as well as for his, his name, his sake. But, um, you know, my character just has that strong mother instinct, wife's instinct, where she wants to protect her family. Hi, I'm Hi. Genesis Rodriguez. I play Sloan. Um, I play Kiefer Sutherland's protege. And um, basically, Sloan is a very tough cop, uh, very smart, and has a wonderful thing called female intuition. So uh, when she something doesn't add up to her, she's the first one who says it out loud and isn't necessarily heard. And I think because of that, a lot of things happen in The Fugitive. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Tia Sarkar. I play Preeti Patel. She is a journalist, um, uh, a, a sort of somewhat unscrupulous journalist who is very uh, motivated by getting a scoop and being the first one out of the gate to report a story, uh, whether or whether whether or not it's factual. Um, and so she's sort of the catalyst of the story. Um, well, I don't wanna give away too much. Tia, so Nick Centaur, the writer and executive producer of The Fugitive said he wrote your character um, with you in mind to play the part. What made you come on board to this Quibi project? Um, that helped a lot. <laughs> yeah. a phone call with Nick, uh, you know, a while ago and he said, and I'd never met Nick. I'd never worked with Nick. I didn't know that Nick knew who I was from Adam. I, and he uh, called me up and said, Hey, I, uh, I really liked you on such and such show. Uh, and I wrote this character for you. And would you consider playing it? And I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good sell. Yeah, that's a yeah. sweet deal. <laughs> um, also, it's The Fugitive. Also, it's Nick Santora. Uh, also, it's Boyd and Kiefer. Like, what, you know, what, what, I'd be crazy not to want to be a part of it. But it was, that. I think that's the first time I can recall that ever happening, particularly with someone who I had never met. And so, and Nick's just the best. He's just a wonderful person to work Such with. Such a sweet guy. For. Yeah, he's like good people. And it's nice, it's nice uh, to work for someone like that in this crazy yeah. business especially. How did you collaborate with each, uh, with each other and the other actors? And for all of you, did anything fun happen on set? Well, I had uh, Daniel David Stewart and um, I had such a good time. I call him El Nino um, because he was kind of the kid I bullied in the Quibi. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was, it was a lot of fun, but it was actually pretty great because I had so much, um, I, I want to talk, you know, counter-terrorism dialogue that I'm not used to saying in real life. So I had a wonderful partner to just spit that out every day and just get it out there, get it out there. And it, it really, he was so eager to rehearse all the time that I, I, once I got to set, it just flowed. Because really, when you hold a gun, when you say these things, it has to be second nature, like you've been doing it every single day. And it's not like we necessarily had a lot of time to prep these things. So to have that camaraderie and that, to have that partner on set is so great, but also just to be able to see Kiefer do what he does best um, and watch him um, was wonderful because it just, it just got you into the scene and it just flowed. You watch, you listen, you learn, and you just go and you really trust your instincts in that sort of character. So it was great. And for um, any of you, would you say anything fun happened on set while you were working on The Fugitive? I had a really good time. I was there for a few of the bombs. Uh, well, actually, what, one of the big ones um, that kind of happened. And we had like, there's just a lot of action um, and just being around a group of people who are fans of the original, who are excited to work with such a great company like Quibi with such a new kind of streaming platform. I think that that whole energy really was present on set. The fact that we were doing something classic with our own take to it um, and being a part of this new streaming service that was gonna bring the short kind of format uh, TV shows to you, I think was just exciting and people were just really exciting to be a part of the process. So it just made a really good tone on set. Great to hear that. 
And Natalie, your character in The Fugitive is truly a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Why was it important to, uh, for you to play a strong female supporting lead? Uh, with, you know, I, I really keep coming back to the fact that I wanted to really be a part of that whole family aspect uh, for Boyd's character. I think it gives the main um, protagonist part, uh, you know, something to fight for. You, The audience wants him, you know, to be safe and to be back with his family reunited. And then as a woman, a family person, you know, standing up to what's right for certain things that were kind of happening and, and going with your gut instinct and fighting for your family was very important for me. So I really enjoyed adding that to the project, the whole family aspect side of it. 